Sawa. Guys, we're good. Check it. Out of Sawa. Ikirudi, we will just continue recording. They're doing their price of starting now. Alright. Yes, UDA, yes. Alright, thank you. Well, we are here this evening because as we were training our agents a few hours ago, as you are all aware. There is a by-election in London Ward, Nakuru County tomorrow. And as such, we were this evening, this afternoon actually, from 2 o'clock, training our agents and also letting them know at what stations they will be reporting in the morning. And as that was going on, a contingent of police officers in about five vehicles and a, and a lorry full of officers with dogs and tear gas. Uh, came in there and they said that the meeting has to stop and we told them that we, it's within the law we are allowed to do that and it is part of our preparation for tomorrow's elections so it has become because if you recall about a week ago we were we had to suffer through tear gas in this county as we had a meeting and they claimed that we had not we had not approved the notice that we had given given the law is very clear all we had to do was give them notice now it seems as though the police have taken sides in this by-election uh, even as we were walking up and down the stairs, because they stormed in, we were actually having our meeting on the fifth floor of the hotel, very secluded. And you could hear them saying that Matiangi and the IG had given orders. And you could hear them calling and saying that they were calling Matiangi because he's saying that this, that they must do whatever it is they were sent to do, which was to stop our preparation of our agents. Now, my only thing that I want to say to these police officers here, tomorrow, and to IEPC actually, Tomorrow we expect a fair and free election process. We expect democracy to be given, uh, to be given, to, we expect them to give way to democracy so that the voters of London can decide who they want to vote for, decide who their MCA becomes without intimidation by the police, without the police trying to become political in obviously, which is very clear, trying to get one candidate elected over another. So what we are saying to the police force is your work is to provide security tomorrow, not to come and help one party or one side or one party have a leg up. We saw just last week the police supervising the bribery of voters in London ward at, at Arama's house. And I have called upon IEBC to also tell us, since that clip was circulated all over the media and we send it to them, what actions have they taken when it's so blatant that voters were being bribed with police in their uniform standing there and supervising the bribery. So we are saying tomorrow to the police officers, we expect, Matiangi also, you need to step out of this process. The IG of police, you know your work and the law is very clear. You are not political officers. You need to stop being political. You need to stop using the police to do your job of getting a certain candidate elected. The people of London have made their mind up and I am sure that they will make their will done or their will felt at the ballot. So we shall be here, we shall not be intimidated, but we are calling upon the police to behave in the way that the law expects them to behave. Otherwise, in the future, they will carry their individual ban. I think this is a very sad time in Kenya because the reason why the 2010 constitution made the National Police Service an independent body, independent of the executive. But now they are seeing a situation where the executive is directly interfering with the police and using the police not to protect citizens and to maintain law and order, but instead to come and take away our democratic rights. I have never had in the history of Kenya that police officers are storming into a, a meeting where you're training your agents, agents which are required by law and recognized by the election law. In fact, IEBC expects us to give, the, to give them appointment letters, copies of appointment letters with our agents and budgets for them. And that's exactly what we are doing today. In fact, you cannot have free and fair elections if you don't have agents participating and representing a, poli a, a political party in an election. So for the police to be used to come and break it. And I dare the OCPD of uh, Nakuru, yes, Nakuru Town West. First, when he walked into the room, he demanded that I provide to him a list of all our agents. There is no requirement in any law in Kenya that the police can have access to our agents 
names on list of names of our agents. They also ask for my name and names of the other people who are training the agents. And again, that is not information that the police is entitled to under any shade of law in this country. So obviously, they wanted to use those names so that they can intimidate our agents. They also it came up by the OCPD of Nakuru West who said again, because he obviously doesn't understand the law and doesn't know what he's doing. Because he even went on to tell me that now that we have established your inner training of agents, uh, the other offense that we are uh, supposed to have committed is that we should have been holding the training in Nakuru Town West instead of Na and instead of having it in Nakuru Town East. Again, we can train our agents anywhere. We can train our agents in Nairobi, we can train them in Eldoret or America for that matter. There is nothing preventing us or prohibiting us to do. So when we reach the point where police are creating their own laws and enforcing them, and that same OCPD came to our peaceful meeting, uh, uh, training, they walked in and he was carrying two tear gas canisters. Yet there had been no fracas there. So why was an OCPD carrying uh, canisters? And then after that he told us he's giving us 20 minutes and we should break up the meeting. And he was carrying two canisters. By the time I reached the point where an OCPD is carrying tear gas canisters, and he's not an anti-riot police, and neither were they deployed because we didn't have a situation of any violence at that place. So it is unfortunate. We are pleading with the Inspector General of Police to please refuse to be misused because you're an independent office. And that is why Kenyans took the pains of putting it in the Constitution. Now it, we've, we've gone back to pre-2010 Constitution times. Uh, uh, it's definitely clear to us that uh, the policemen are under immense pressure and they told us as much that they are under immense pressure to assist uh, one of the candidates uh, in their own words so that the Mkupa does not become frustrated uh, to win. That pressure is extremely uh, clear to all of us. The, although the OCBD came to us uh, with canisters, he was always on call uh, in Nairobi, and we are told that uh, the CS Matiangi he has been told in not certain terms that he must do everything possible, using all powers bestowed upon the office of the uh, CS, and uh, to ensure that they till the results of tomorrow in favor of a candidate whom they know for sure that he has lost. So our friends are, are, are sensing defeat. They must accept the uh, uh, decision of the people. We call upon the people of uh, 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 London Ward to come out in large numbers without any fear or favor because it's becoming a so clear that their voice is uh, very important and that some people are panicking because of their voice. And we believe that victory is ours tomorrow. There should be no reason for fear. We have identified the culprits. There are a few uh, persons in my office, the CS Matiangi, uh, IG Mutiambai, and uh, a few officers, they are frustrating and uh, here in the county, including those who are in the county administration, the PCCs, uh, and particularly the one in Nairobi, uh, Nakuru Town West. We, they are very few, we have captured their names, we know what to do with them after this tomorrow. They will face the full, full force of the law and they will be individually responsible. And when we say individually responsible, I want to remind my friend uh, Matiangi that uh, the things he's trying to do now will follow him even after office. And we have a system. We appreciate uh, our friends from the civil society and other agencies who are busy documenting the human rights violations, which have been shared both to uh, government offices, including PPOA, but also to international community. We want to thank our friends the international community who have been in touch with us and uh, I've, I've gladly received all the messages and information we've given them and we know that at the right time uh, international agencies are going to deal with the things we said. Kenya is now a member of the UN Security Council and unfortunately they are not behaving responsibly as they ought to because they are members of the UN Security Council. We have reported uh, this issue through uh, various uh, agents to share in future to international community and as I said I want to thank our friends in the international community who have given us a lot of support to ensure that there is uh, free and fair elections. Many 
uh, agencies of international community are very concerned that this is a precursor for next year elections and I'm glad that they are willing to uh, take decisive action on Kenya, uh, particularly in good time before we mess up the country next year. So we, we are, uh, I want to tell our voters, relax, these few police elements, we are dealing with them, we have put them on notice, told them what they need to do, and tomorrow uh, our agents will be in the polling station and we expect a victory at the end of the day tomorrow. I think that's all we want to say today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.